now we're going to talk about the COVID vaccine experience. After you arrive, what it looks like and what will happen. I have talked to two senior citizens and one interpreter who have gotten the vaccine and their experiences were very similar. So I want to give you an idea of what it will be like when you go to get the vaccine. You will park and the National Guard is there and they will come over to your car. You can show them on your phone, perhaps write out, I am deaf or I am deaf or I am hard of hearing on a piece of paper. Or if you have one of the police cards, you can actually show them that as well. So that lets them know and they are ready. They can call and get someone to come and walk you to where the registration occurs and where you get your vaccine and bring you back to your car. So you can text that or write that to them or perhaps sign that you're deaf. Um, many people know that there are deaf and hard of hearing people around. So you will park and if you need a wheelchair, you can ask for one or perhaps add it to your sign. or text it or handwrite it. You can gesture as well that you need a wheelchair for someone in the car and they will bring it. Also, they have golf carts, so you can get a ride in a golf cart as well and they will bring you into the location. When you arrive and you go into the building, the National Guard is there and they will ask to see your ID. They will also ask to see your confirmation for your vaccination appointment. And they will ask you the same questions that everyone has asked you recently about COVID when you go somewhere. Are you feeling well? Have you been around anyone who's COVID positive? You know the list and you have to answer each of those questions. So first you can say you feel good and then the rest of the answer should be no. However, if you do answer yes, they may take you aside and help you determine whether or not you should get the vaccine that day. When you're finished with that part, you will get into a line. Dunkin' Donuts Arena has three lines for vaccinations. You will get in the line, you will be called by a nurse and the nurse will ask you a few more questions. Again, how you're feeling today. Do you have anything you wanna talk about before getting the vaccine? You can write back, and, write back and forth, or if they have VRI, they can bring that over to ease communication. You will then get your vaccine. You will get up and you will move to what they're calling a waiting room. And you must sit for 15 minutes. You just rest and there are nurses there to check and make sure you're not having a reaction to the vaccine, perhaps your eyes turn pink or you aren't feeling quite well, the nurses are there for that. They will also give you your vaccination card, which will have your name, the date of your first dose. And then you will also see people wandering around with iPads or tablets. That is for you to make your next appointment. So you can call the person over and they can walk you through the process. They'll look at your card and perhaps you had your test on March 1st and you need your next shot in three weeks. That's maybe 20, March 20th or 21st. They can open that date and you'll enter your name and address again. It seems like the first time when you went online to make the appointment, that information should transfer. I'm not sure why it doesn't, but it's really very brief. And then it will bring up dates. You can pick on the 20th or the 21st, whatever dates are available in a time. They will give you a reminder card to take with you. And then the nurse will check you over, make sure you look good and you will be escorted out and go back to your car. So that's really the pretty much the process. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes at the end. It depends on how many people are there, but they have set it up so that people come in a controlled way and so there aren't very long lines. The Department of Health 
has asked me to make sure that you only arrive about 15 minutes before your shot, not an hour. There are other people who haven't arrived yet, people who have an appointment 30 minutes or 45 minutes ahead. So if you can just arrive 15 minutes before, that would be helpful. I did have one person tell me that they arrived very early and there was no one there, so they let them go through. But really limit yourself to 15 to 30 minutes early, not a couple of hours. Those three individuals told me that their positive experience was very friendly, as I just explained about communication and having an interpreter. We will resolve that issue and we will get that out to you. But if you have any concerns, please do call us at the Rhode Island Commission on the Deaf and Hard of Hearing. We are happy to help and we wanna make sure that you have a good experience.